Mitch, you're back. And he was all the excitement. Well, what, what excitement? Allison, what did I miss? Joy is gone. Gone? You failed in your duty? No, I, I didn't fail. You see, Vicki Buchanan showed up, and she said that Joy's sister, Dee Dee O'Neill, was in an accident, and that she was in critical condition in the hospital. And I told her that she couldn't speak to Joy until just, you returned. Just a minute, but... please. Uh, excuse us. Will you all get back to work? Go ahead. This is a conversation I think we need to have in private. Come with me, my little lamb. We can talk over here. Mitch, you're hurting me. Oh, I'm sorry, Allison, dear, but I'm a little upset here. What happened to the tranquilizer? I told her to slip into her drink, huh? I used it, and, and she drank part of it. But you haven't let me tell you. You see, what happened then was... Cassie pulled the fire alarm to cause a big commotion. And there was no fire? No. Uh, she just, she saw Vicki Buchanan and I talking, and then she used it as a way to get Joy downstairs. And it worked. So Vicki rushed out with Joy? Well, not exactly. See, first the firemen came, and then Cassie pushed me as I was trying to stop Vicki from taking Joy. What does Cassie have to say about all this? Well, of course, she's claiming that she's innocent. But don't believe her, Mitch. Never believe a thing she says again. She's evil. She's here as a spy and to help the O'Neills get Joy back. I can't tell you how heavy this makes my heart feel. I hope you didn't allow her to sail out of here, too. No, she, she hasn't tried to leave. She's still playing the game. She expects you to forgive her and accept all of her lies. My, my, my. Who in this world can you trust? What about Tina Lord? No, Tina. From what I can tell, she was part of this plot, too. And she had me over to her place to offer me money not to disrupt the wedding to Richard Abbott, as if I care about her or who she marries. I mean, the vanity, the arrogance of that girl. She is really paranoid, you know that? To think that I care what she does, that I would do anything to, to be with her. Now, what are you going to do about Cassie? I want you to call a meeting of all the disciples that are here in the inn right in now. Including Cassie? Yeah, especially Cassie. All right. Everyone, Mitch would like to have a meeting right now. Cassie, I'll only admit to you that sometimes I feel myself in an awful rage. Really? No, and I can't control it. It just... I'm ashamed to admit it, but it, it overcomes me, and it takes all I can do not to just... Do you know what sets it off? What? Dishonesty. I know that's ironic, because I used to be the most dishonest fellow around, right? But the thing is, I trust people anytime I can. Because I know that I am now worthy of their trust. And this family that I've gathered around me through great torment is my pride and my joy. It's what keeps me going. If I should learn that one of my family is not worthy of my trust and indeed would betray me, well, at first it would crush my spirit and then... Please don't tell anyone this. I would be overcome by that rage I spoke of. And to be as honest with you as I claim to be, there have been times when I haven't been able to control myself. Cassie, even prayer has failed me. And that violent rage of the old Mitch Lawrence has worn out. drug, Vicky. It's just a part of your scheme. So it had to have been the drug. I swear to you, I'm, I'm so cold and I'm, I'm nauseous and, and I, can't, I can't see very well. We've got to get to the hospital right away. You're lying. You're just trying to take me away from Mitch and the mission and my new family. But I'm going to heed the messenger. I'm going to be my own person. Stop the car. Stop the car right now or let me out or I'm going to jump out of this car. Stop screaming, Joy. I can't see the road. Well, I just do it. Did he, uh, Tina, Mitch, did he say anything about, specific about his plans for the town? No, he wasn't. 
Except as far as I was concerned, he was real specific about that. But if he hadn't gotten suspicious and was going to go ahead with his threats, how, how did he think he was going to get away with it? Well, it's simple. He was going to kill me and hide the body and then just cover his tracks. Like he did that uh, prisoner at Statesville mm -hmm. and that guard that helped him. Okay, that's it. I'm not sitting around anymore. We have to do something. All right, let me call Waterside. Keep up this act about your being hurt. Be back there. Please. Join us. Should I get that? No. This is far too important to be interrupted. While I was away today from the mission doing God's important business, one of our dearest family members disappeared. What? For those of you who haven't heard, Joy O'Neill was tricked into leaving our family. You mean she's not going to come back? I don't know exactly what their plans are, but I assume they will try to brainwash her into believing that we're some sort of lunatic fringe group. I know that the Lord will watch over our Joy, but the Lord may also need a little help in this situation. There is something equally troubling to me. Someone in this room, one of you, who I call my own, who the Lord chose to be a member of this flock, one of you aided our detractors in taking joy away from us. This hurts me as much as joy's disappearance. My faith, though not shaken, has taken a beating. Betrayal from within is worse than betrayal from without. Yes. What I would like is for the guilty person to come forward and face me, look me in the eyes, if he or she dares to do so, and then he or she will see reflected back the enormous disappointment of the Almighty. I know well, who did it, Brother Mitch. Shh, Lord. To be forgiven, the guilty person must step forward of his or her own free will. Hmm. How sad. No one will confess to the crime that he or she knows was committed against our family. It gives me no choice but to pick at random a disciple to be punished. But why? We are one. 